morning, you guys, FSC Trucking. It's been a busy couple of days here recently. It's been a bunch of ups and downs, trials and tribulations. We'll get through this. Uh, it's a long story, but I don't know. It's just some things are just, look. All right, we'll get into it real quick. Long story short, um, it shouldn't be this hard to order a brand new pickup truck, but sometimes it just is. So with, with that, you know, we'll, we'll get it handled. It's been frustrating. So we've been dealing with that two days now, two days, Saturday and all day Monday, enough. Today's Tuesday, we got a whole ass now. We gotta be somewhere. Sunday, unfortunately, I made a couple mistakes. Didn't get everything done I wanted to. We got a bunch done yesterday. Anyway, right here, Orwell. Orwell is my 1984 362 Peterbilt, obviously a cab over. Those of you that have been subscribed to the channel for a while already know that. Those that need to subscribe, hit it right there. There you go, subscribe. You see this freight behind this cab over, right? There ain't too many people doing that nowadays. But that's us, it's what we do. We haul revenue freight with an old truck, but I'm one of the only guys that do it with the cab over. Come on, hit that subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff on social media. All right, what are we hauling? What are we doing? Where are we going? All right, if you come around here, you can hear that Caterpillar purr. 3406B in this truck, by the way. This is some kind of a port crane. Well, those are the stands to hold it up while they install the lower pieces. This is some kind of gantryway walkway with it here. And miscellaneous crates that go with it. Different odd and end pieces, parts that fit on the trailer. And then, of course, this lifting beam on the back. And that's what we got. It ain't that tall. It's just under 13 foot tall. It looks taller than it is, but we measured it when we loaded it. So we're good to go there. And that's how... And that's what we got. This is going down to, this is going down to Louisiana, by the way. Some lock down there. I forget exactly where it is, but it's down there near the Mississippi corner, like a corner of Mississippi, Louisiana. There's a river down there in locks, and I guess there's a port there or something. I, the way I understand, it, it's a port crane being put up. I don't know if it has something to do with the locks, maybe, or I don't know. It's told a port crane. So I'm thinking it's one of those. First thing I'm thinking it has to do with the containers, like taking containers off of ships, but. We'll find out when we get there, I really don't know. Not all the information I get is perfect and are exactly accurate. So with that, what's going on with Orwell? I haven't really been filming for the FSC Truck Shop channel recently, but we put new steer tires on Orwell. The other ones are getting a little thin, so Orwell got new steer tires. We also changed, there's a little bit of oil leaking from the hub cap itself. You know, these are oil-filled front wheel bearings on there. That plastic on the hub that shows you your oil level, it was leaking between the plastic and that cap that goes over the actual hub. So I had to take it apart a few times, cleaned it up, and I think I softened it up with some brake clean. So either way, it was leaking and the oil was coming up out of there onto the wheels and onto the tire. That looked terrible. It's probably a DOT issue, even though it's just an oil leak, but you may never know nowadays. Either way, we got that all fixed up, replaced both sides. All right, Orwell just popped off. He's ready to go. We're going to hit the air to the trailer. We're going to go ahead and fill out our paperwork and get strolling. I'm back to three. I'm back to three GoPros now. I replaced the one that failed that I bought brand new and uh, broke really quickly. Supposedly, Best Buy has like a 14-day return policy, so I'm going to have Jen go return that today because uh, we're almost at the end of 14 days, so that way I don't have to like ship it out to GoPro and all that whatnot. Alrighty, with that, we're back to three GoPros and hopefully soon four. That'd be interesting. I never did it before. Alright, enough of yapping. Let's get on board and get going. We got some trucking to do.